Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Merry stupid o'clock. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we're going to that horrible world known as the GRC. But before we do, the usual disclaimers. Thankfully, nobody showed up about an hour from right now. So, you know... All's well that ends well, but now I have, like, literally my mace on me at all times. Like, I've been really lax when I shouldn't have been. So, yesterday was probably the wake-up call that I need to make sure that I always carry some form of protection. And also makes me really wish I had a handgun. Don't worry, folks. I've actually been trained with guns and proper gun safety, unlike some idiots like god the entirety of the republican party don't get me started this morning okay so let's get past yesterday in the description box folks you're going to find a link to the article that the jrc also known as the judge rotenberg educational center doesn't want you to read it is written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they surveyed over 900 ABA professionals for all over the world in regards to the JRC's quote-unquote behavioral treatment program. In fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so damn much. They have actually threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit. So you know the drill. Click on that article and send it out on all your social media. We also have a link to Neuroclastic's public statement on the matter, as well as their GoFundMe set up by Autistic Twitter, namely Greg. Thank you, Greg. Just in case the JRC has the balls to see through with their threat, let's, let's face it, we kind of want them to. The JRC has never been forced to actually be held accountable by anyone because somehow I smell money. They've got the Massachusetts courts by the balls. So, we want them held accountable. We want to explain, their, make them explain their bullshit. We're going to make them spew this fucking word salad we're all reading through. So that the public has to hear it and can judge for themselves. So, you know, fingers crossed. You're also going to find in the description box the Agape Boarding School links. The Agape Boarding School is a Christian-themed boarding school that is located out on Agape Ranch out in Stockton, Missouri. This school has, and count them, 19 pending lawsuits alleging abuse, sexual abuse, torture, and starvation. Please go to those links, folks. Read the articles and share on your social media. We also have the change.org shut agape boarding school down petition. Please sign that and send out on all your social media. Now, we have yet still to come across anything defending that school. So, if you see anything, please send it my way in the comments, all right? Okay, cool. Now, we're going to switch up schedules again. Because I've not been getting proper sleep, and when I, Tiffany doesn't get proper sleep for months on end, and she ends up going into autistic burnout, and I'm on the verge of one. So, starting tomorrow, you are going to be, well, actually starting tonight, you're going to start getting these videos in the evenings again, as opposed to the mornings, so I can, like, level up some time for some extra Z's, okay? All right, so we also have in the description box the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, the templates, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org, shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC folks, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and see clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, you know, to drill, please use your headphones. All right. It is 4.03 a.m. in the morning. I am exhausted. So if I stumble over my words, folks, please, apologies in advance. All right. 
All right, trigger warning. There's going to be some word salad here and some ableist pretzel logic that might just make your brain explode. Please have calming tea nearby and your nurse comfort object or kitten or puppy, whatever makes you happy, grab it. JRC's process for assessing public target behaviors lacks the specific information. Oh, no, nope, we went over that one yesterday. 109. JRC's use of restraints for self-abusive behavior or attention paid to students' negative behaviors were not even considered as possible reinforcers for negative behaviors. Yet at least one student's record indicated increases in behaviors when the interventions were employed. Which, that's what, you know, torture does. There's usually one of two responses, fight or flight. And when autistics are stressed the fuck out, all our autistic behaviors and traits come out to haunt us. Yeah. It can also push us into burnout. And that, that's when we go into that damn near catatonic state, which the JRC, you know, they consider that a win. <sighs> Normal people. GRC is well aware that restraints for a self-abusive client are very reinforcing and that attention motivates many negative behaviors. Here we go again. See, there's this false equivalency and it's layered throughout ABA, which is why it's on its face. It's bullshit. It's this concept, this idea that we're looking for attention when we're acting up. It's Bullshit, folks. When I have autistic behaviors, the last fucking thing I want is your goddamn attention. Some of that shit's in fucking embarrassing. I don't want you to see it. I don't want you to know about it. I am hardly trying to get anybody's attention. But people like these don't seem to understand is we're not willfully doing these behaviors. It is literally hardwired into our brains and no amount of behavior modification techniques are going to take away how our brains function. This is why using punishment will never fucking work because it's literally hardwired in our brains to react in certain ways to certain situations. It is not willful behavior. We don't want your goddamn attention. Most of us autistics that I've ever come across we tend to actually be more loners. Oh, don't get us wrong. We like to have the few friends we manage to snatch. Don't get me wrong. But by and large, we'd like to be mostly be left the fuck alone. When we actually desperately need that alone time in order to fucking recalibrate and detoxify from our fucking days. Because think about it, folks. We're not just bombarded by fucking people, stupid. There's also sensory issues out freaking ass for any of us once we walk outside our door. This is why reasonable accommodation is a thing outside the home, folks. Especially in the workplace. But no, this false idea, you just want attention. You're just trying to get something. They're putting neurotypical motivations onto us. They're projecting their own shit onto us is what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. They don't actually understand our motivations. Or the concept that we don't have a motivation when these behaviors come out. They're just fucking there. 
And they definitely don't seem to understand the concept that if we find out the fucking trigger that's causing the behavior and then treat the, what we, I like to call the root fucking cause of the problem. Oh my gosh, magic. The behavior decreases. It's amazing, right? Amazing. Yes, I'm channeling my brother. I regret nothing. We have used restraint sparingly because in general, we would like to see students get out of restraint. Okay, is that why you restrain them every time you put them in a fucking vehicle, Karen? And then you also roll them out on a four-point board with fucking masks like they're goddamn Hannibal Lecter? But sure, you want to use small amounts of restraint. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure you do. For those individuals where it's hypothesized that attention from staff or peers is motivating target behaviors, the behavior may be recorded but not pinpointed. The behavior may be ignored after the first few target behaviors, or the student may be moved to a different classroom or residence where peers cannot reinforce behavior. Here we go again. They think we're wanting a reward. They think we want their attention. I don't fucking want anyone's attention when I'm going through those behaviors. I don't want any eyes on me. Some of that shit, like I said, is fucking embarrassing. Okay? The last thing I want is somebody's eyes on me when I'm going through that shit. What I need is to be left the fuck alone until I can get myself back under control. These are why these types of treatments do not work, people. Because people in the medical community can't seem to ever fucking shut up long enough to listen to us. They never seem to understand this idea, this concept, that we are not motivated by the same things that everybody else is. It's, we have a completely different kind of wiring to our brains. But let's finish this and I'll go ahead and wrap up here. These strategies are a small part of the comprehensive behavior modification plan that rewards positive behaviors which replace the negative behaviors. Here we go again. We use the positive. We give them tokens to, you know, so they can go play in the pulpit when they're fucking 21 years old. So this morning we're going to go over a little thing before we close out here. And it's not just used at the JRC. It's a false equivalency across the board in regards to ABA period. It is this concept, this idea that these neurotypicals who come up with this bullshit have that what we are doing, the behaviors that come out are motivated by the things that motivate neurotypical people. They want attention. They want this. They want that. That is not how the autistic brain works, folks. These behaviors that are coming out of us aren't about attention. They are right that they do serve some purpose. These behaviors come out to haunt us in particular when we are stressed to our max. And living at a place like the JRC when you are just sitting there fucking anticipating the next time you're going to be tortured next. Yeah, those autistic traits are going to come out. And no, folks, we can't control them. It's not about getting attention. The last thing anyone strapped to that device wants in JRC is their fucking attention. In fact, what we do in these situations, we try to minimize ourselves and become as unnoticeable as human fucking possible. As humanly fucking possible. 
That's just a fact. ABA is false on its face because it has this idea and concept that either that A, we're not actually a full human being. So sure, we look like human beings, but you have to place in the building box in order to form a whole person. That is the basis off of ABA. That is created by Lovis, freaking Matthew Israel's butt buddy, by the way, if you want to look him up. And you have this idea that we are motivated by the same things neurotypicals are. You do things, you have behaviors to get attention. I'm not motivated by that. A good majority of us are not motivated by that. Behaviors happen because triggers happen. Something is going wrong, something sensory is affecting us, or hell, we can just be fucking happy and be flapping our hands as a fucking expression of that joy. And they get tortured for it, folks. People need to understand this is the one thing about fucking autistics above everything else that I want people to understand. We are not like you. Quit projecting what you cause you to do the behaviors onto us. Though we are similar to, in some ways to regular neurotypical people, we are wired completely differently. And you cannot assume that what would motivate you to make those types of behaviors is going to apply for me. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. And listen when autistic people are talking to you. I'm sorry, but our lived experience beats your fucking medical degree. And on that note, folks, I'm going to close out this morning. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. As always, we here at Smelling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.